another edition of Teams Agenda this week. A special report that focuses on the activities and achievements of the Teams Agenda of Lagos State Governor, though 31st in the series. Safety is a continuous message that must keep resonating in the mind of every human being, from being conscious of one's environment to being in tune with safety practices such as handling of inflammable contents, home and workplace safety culture, among others. It is therefore true of the word of safety advocate Eliano Everett, which says that safety is not a gadget but a state of mind. Special report on Teams Agenda this week. Sainab Adebeshi of our News and Current Affairs Department examines the efforts of the Lagos State Safety Commission in setting robust safety guidelines and measures in line with the vision of the Governor Babajide Sawolu led administration. The Lagos State Safety Commission, LSC, is established by Gazette Number 23, Volume 44, Cap Number 6 on the 26th of July, 2011, by law of Lagos State of Nigeria. The mandate of the agency include policy formulating advisory and regulatory body for the coordination of all government ministries, agencies, parastatals, and all relevant bodies on matters relating to safety of lives and property at all levels and other safety-related issues. It also sets safety standards for all sectors involved in socio-economic activities in the state and responsible for the issuance or withdrawal of over our safety compliance certificate at all levels where necessary, give our safety alerts and signals, as well as promote safety culture through sustained public and institutional enlightenment strategies and programs, among other functions. The need for the establishment of the commission was born out of the dream to build a society that values life through a change in unsafe behavior and attitude that would increase life expectancy, national productivity, and ultimately improve life quality, reduce poverty, accidents and injury, illnesses and diseases, and as conducive environment for investment and business continuity. The administration of Governor Babajide Sawolu at inception made issues relating to safety paramount and a critical tool for the development and protection of valued lives as well as property of residents of the state. To ensure a safety-conscious metropolis, the Lagos State Safety Commission kicked off with interactions with relevant stakeholders, raising consciousness on safety issues and obtaining their views through safety sensitization and public awareness in all the five divisions in the state. The agency impressed on Lagosians the need to save the concern of precious lives being wasted on a daily basis because of people's inability to adhere to simple safety tips and precautions. Ordinary acts such as placing warning signs at construction sites, removing banana peel where it can slide, making sure electronic appliances are well secured from children could save precious lives. In the last one and a half years, the agency under the present administration has carried out public enlightenment programs, sensitization, and advocacies using different mediums, including radio, television, jingles, roadshows, flyers, banners to communicate the language of safety to residents. Following the outbreak of the COVID-19 pandemic in Nigeria, an increase in number of coronavirus cases in Lagos State being the epicenter of the disease, Lagos State government under the administration of Governor Babajide Sawolu intensified its safety campaign strategy by empowering the Lagos State Safety Commission in collaboration with sister agencies like the Lagos State Environmental Protection Agency, Tax Force, and other relevant law enforcement agencies to monitor and ensure compliance with all safety guidelines and measures put in place by the state government. Cosmo Babajide Sawolu warned that the state government would not hesitate to bring the full weight of the law to bear on any person or organization caught breaching public health regulations and protocols with regards to the coronavirus disease. To match words with actions, Governor Sawolu, who is the COVID-19 incident commander in the state, mandated the safety commission to visit event centers and gauge compliance with the established guidelines to stop the virus from spreading. This is all part of efforts by the present administration to responsibly restore the economy while working to flatten the curve. We're reviewing and we're preparing to see how that phase unlocking needs to happen. If we see huge level of compliance, and readiness, then it can happen in the next two, three weeks. If not, it could take a month, it could take two months until when we're sure 
that all of these players are ready and have confirmed with all of the things that we're saying and we'll be bringing out in the weeks ahead. And I'm sure, as you are aware, it certainly cannot be business as usual. This pandemic has since shown us that, that a few things need to change, you know, the way we relate, we, we, the, the way we act, and the way we need to begin to do our businesses going forward. We'll continue to update and inform you of our decisions on our changes, you know, as, as this goes on. Um, I must also say, but however, we believe that the compliance can also still be improved upon. Anytime you're in a public place, please ensure that you're wearing a face mask. It is not only to protect yourself, it's also to protect protect you from others. We don't need to take responsibility. We need to take full responsibility for ourselves and for our loved ones. The Rico State Safety Commission played a major role in carrying out the directives of the governor just as it developed a white paper to serve as the framework for maintaining essential functions and services in the state during the period of COVID-19 without compromising safety of the citizenry. Determined to carry out the order of the governor to the latter, the director general of the commission, Larry Modula, organized a sensitization program for 200 Lagos State Traffic Management Authority, LASMA, and Lagos Neighborhood Safety Corps, LNS the officials turned out and safety sensitization on hygiene management held in batches at last night quarters and safety arena Bolade Oshodi. Safety kits were presented to participants while officials were enjoined to adhere strictly to all safety protocols, especially the use of face masks and hand sanitizers, constant washing of hands with soap and water, as well as maintaining a minimum of two meters distance from the next person. The stakeholders workshop was also organized for marine operators. For the agency, there is no room to compromise safety in the state. To further achieve this, the commission also organized a training program themed COVID-19 health and safety protocols for 50 religious leaders in view of the recent reopening of religious centers in Lagos. Through the training, the religious leaders were enlightened on basic hygiene management and to fully understand all safety protocols and guidelines stipulated by the state and federal governments. After every incident, the Safety Commission has the mandate of investi investigating accidents. And we have a very detailed process where we go through different formal approaches and very structured approaches to identify the root cause of this accident. What caused it? What lessons have we learned? How do we ensure that these accidents are not repeated? And we do this for every single um, incident that happens in the state. We produce a lessons learned report which is open to the public. Publish it on our website and other forms of communication channels to the public. Your construction site is a workplace. Um, a lot of people don't realize this. So that's why you see all sorts of safety infractions, people not wearing helmets, people not taking into consideration appropriate safety guidelines, not wearing their appropriate PPE, not following safety protocols or management systems. Overall, there are roughly about 2.3 million accidents globally when it comes to um, injuries, occupational safety and health injuries. And you can imagine what 70% of this is if it's strictly related to construction. Furthermore, the agency developed safety guidelines for the safe reopening of economic activities in line with the team's agenda of Governor Babajide Sohulu's administration to achieve the vision of a safer and a greater Lagos during and after the ease of the lockdown put in place by the federal government in conjunction with the state to further curb the spread of the disease. The Lagos State Safety Commission monitored religious centers and social event centers, clubs, restaurants, hotels, bars, among others, and subsequently sealed over 450 facilities and prosecuted over 700 people in line with COVID-19 protocols. Mr. Mojola maintained that the facilities were sealed for non-compliance with the event safety clearance that was issued to them by the commission, adding that the commission will continue to monitor and enforce compliance across the state, while warning that all COVID-19 violators and perpetrators will be summoned to the commission's office in Alausa for further directives. We're indeed continuing with our event safety clearance where approvals are required for any event in the state where there is a need for large gatherings. The process is simple. It's an online process where people can go to and register and after verification, an event safety clearance will be issued. It is expedient to note that the Lagos State Safety Commission is also developing an occupational safety and health master plan for the state to provide a comprehensive strategic framework and policy direction for occupational safety in the state. This will further protect the state's most valuable resources and assets, which is its human capital, by building a safer and healthier Lagos through the development and sustenance of a safe, healthy work culture. 
Also, under the Sawoyu administration, the agency has moved in the positive direction of school safety. To this end, the commission has established safety prefects in public and private schools, while the inauguration of safety ambassadors in the six education districts of the state has begun. The ambassadors will serve as a link between the commission and secondary schools. The commission has also been carrying out safety audits in over 500 public and private schools since 2019. Other areas of interventions include workshop on the prevention and management of Okada and Kekemawa accidents in Lagos State, departments, participation on safety training audit in universities, collaboration with the Sports Commission on the annual Lagos City Marathon, participated in IOSH West Africa Conference, inauguration of safety call Marshall, training for road transport workers, among others. Some Lagos residents express their opinion about the activities of the Lagos State Safety Commission. Safety is all of us. Both people are too in the offices. All of us are involved in safety of our environment. Lagos State is uh, the, the environment is actually good, and we thank God for the governor that wants it to be better. But we are also looking at giving time that these things will be in place, not just sanction immediately. Um, something is noticed. At least give time, give guidance, give more training more persuasion to people to be able to meet up with what is happening. It is um, a kind of an epoch program, um, the beginning of um, empowerment of every employee and employers, of course, to voice out on occupational hazards, accidents. The state governor, the body must be saving this state and it's part of the agenda for Lagos State Safety Commission to ensure that there's life, I mean, safety of life and property. The government of today in Lagos is very much concerned about uh, the populace. Well done, Mr. Governor and the entire ESCO. Safety begins even from your home to your office and to everywhere you go. Only somebody that is healthy that can walk safely to ensure that uh, he protects himself and also protects the environment. So they should take their health as well as their safety seriously at all times. The attitude of the people matters a lot in health and safety. Our behavior, the ways we do, we all know what is right and we know what is wrong. But a lot of us, due to complacency and negligence, we leave all these things and say no problem. For example, you see a wire in your house that is not properly installed, not terminated. You see, it doesn't concern me, it can't cause any problem. Another good example is you have a home and your air conditioner is not protected. You have some problems. There will be no safety. There will be no pain. Because you will do the right thing at the right time. You will, when you say flood, you will not go into the flooding. When you say vehicle, you will know how to stop and allow the vehicle to go. Because if you don't allow the vehicle to go and you cross, you will no pain. When you cross, you will no pain. is a core part of the team's agenda of the Governor Babajide Sawoli led administration. It is clear that the vision of the present administration in the state through the Lagos Safety Commission is to ensure that Lagos residents are safety compliant and ensure that all safety precautionary measures are taken seriously to prevent the spread of COVID-19 virus, stem on safe working environments, ensure safer citizens and a conducive society where all can thrive. This brings us to the end of today's special report on Team's Agenda this week, with focus on the Lagos State Safety Commission's efforts to promote safety operations in line with international best practices and the Team's Agenda of Governor Sawolu's administration. For feedback, you can follow us on all our social media platforms, Twitter at Lagos Traffic 961, Instagram Lagos Traffic, Facebook Lagos Traffic Radio 96.1 FM, on YouTube, subscribe to our channel, Traffic Radio 961. Also, you can now download our app, Lagos Traffic Radio 96.1 FM from Play Store for more updates. This program is a production of Lagos Traffic Radio 96.1 FM. I am Abiola Fagbolagun. <laughs>